This is David, Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. I've made a quick run up to my cabin here. I am going to be working on installing a diesel powered heating system that I'm probably going to set up on some blocks sitting in this area here. And I'm going to connect the exhaust on it to probably the clean out on this chimney to feed the exhaust up the chimney and then having probably some air vents installed under the floor here where I can push the heat up into the cabin and uh, heat it off the diesel which should be a whole lot more efficient than running off the space heater like I did last weekend so I'm hoping that that's going to provide much better heating for me. Yeah, the reviews I've read on the heater I purchased said that it should run on three quarters of a gallon of diesel uh, covering you all night. So that should be awesome if that works. We've also been working on supporting the underside of the cabin a little bit better. And as you can see, we've got these jacks in here. We've poured some concrete that will allow us to set blocks on that concrete and set the cabin back on that and hopefully support that a whole lot better than it has been. And hopefully we're going to be able to run a little bit of a concrete wall across here, a little bit of a retaining wall that I'm going to set the heater on and that should hopefully support this area as well okay um, again my name is david mr diy solar and tennessee valley solar next i'm going to show you the heater that i purchased that i'm going to work on installing in this area shortly And this is the heater I was just mentioning that we are going to work on getting installed on the underside of the cabin. I am going to take it out of the box and show you what it comes with. And here is the heater unboxed. It's got an LCD screen on the front. Allows you to control it directly from the unit itself or you can use this little remote that comes with it on top we have the input for the diesel you can fill the tank right there it comes with a set of little clamps this tiny little muffler that you can attach to this hose which is for the exhaust you connect the exhaust to the underside of the heater and then connect the muffler to that This is a, a muffler for the air intake that comes with it. And then um, there's, uh, this is the hose for the air intake that you can put that little muffler on. And then this is a very short, not particularly useful, piece of ducting that can be used to connect to the air output on the front of the unit and duct that to wherever you need it to go. However, it's not long enough to do much with, so you're going to want to get a longer piece of hose. And it comes with the instruction manual. These heaters are available for sale on Amazon, and 
This heater that's in the picture is actually inside of this tank, you know, this case. The fuel tank is on top and then these heaters is sitting underneath. You can actually buy them where this heater and the tanker are separate. Or you could buy them put together in the nice little case here. I'm going to work on getting this installed in my cabin and figure out how to duct it so that I can get it running up into the uh, output the uh, the heated air inside of the cabin. I'm going to get some diesel and get the tank filled up and kind of do a test to see how the unit works just sort of sitting here in the yard before I go through getting the whole thing installed permanently into the cabin and I will uh, attach another video of having run through the the having this unit running and I am doing a test run on my setup of this 8 kilowatt Chinese diesel heater. I have taken the top off the case to take a look inside. Basically it's just this tank sitting on top of one of the heaters that you could buy separately. It's just inside of this nice little case. And I turned it on by pressing the power button on here and it is running but it is not producing heat yet. I've turned it all the way up, ah, and now it's pumping, however, this is something that I'd seen online, it's not actually pumping the fuel. very effectively through this line. It's seeming to slowly be building up. The amount of diesel in the fuel lines. It just takes a little while for it to get that diesel built up, sort of pump that through the lines. Basically it looks like I'm going to need to inject diesel into the output side of the line because it's going to take it forever to dribble that little bit of diesel through there. However, I guess it is built enough of it up. Yeah, it's got some of it collecting in there. And the engine is definitely running. At some point in time I'm going to lengthen these wires. So I'm going to have this mounted probably in the little basement area underneath my cabin and run hoses up through 
uh, through the uh, underside, this control panel actually just pops off of the little bracket it's mounted to. So I could actually just carry that up and mount that inside. The pump seems to have stopped pumping. And hopefully it didn't just die on me on the little fuel pump right there. Hopefully that will turn back on again at some point. We'll see how it goes. The engine is, seems like it's turned off and doesn't really seem like it's running like it had been. I'm getting slightly warm air coming out of the out of the air exhaust right there. That's slightly warm. I got heat coming out there as well. Yeah, fuel pump has gone back to pumping. But apparently it's not going to get enough fuel pumped in here just by running the pump. So basically you're going to need to prime the lines. Some definite heat coming out of the exhaust. Fortunately, there's more heat coming out of the exhaust than there is coming out of the uh, there. That's a lot warmer than that is. I have purchased a bunch of ductwork that I'm going to use to. Uh, install the the air output into the cabin. One of these is going to be the air supply and the other one's going to be the air return. I'm going to cut holes in the floor and mount those to the underside of the floor along with this hose that's going to allow it to recirculate the air. Got some uh, vent covers put those on and um, all of this will be what I use to install the ducting into the cabin and this thing's gonna decided to turn on now and it's right, now we got a little bit more warm air coming out of here kind of running like a bit like a jet engine Anyway, so 
This has been a sort of quick update on this. I'm going to carry this and get this installed into the basement of the cabin here. And I will do another update as I get it installed. Thanks so much, and I hope this has been useful. This has been David with Mr. DIY Solar as well as Tennessee Valley Solar. I uh, hope this has been useful and like and subscribe and you'll get my updates to my cabin and other solar projects. Thanks. Bye.